Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. I wanted to go ahead and take a look at a, a proverb here because being Wednesday, I like to do what I call Wisdom Wednesday and just get us something for daily living. And I want to take a look here in the book of Proverbs. Take a look at uh, Proverbs chapter 20, it's going to be verse 27. All right, let's go. The Lord's light penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. All right, guys. This is simply the fact that God knows us. The God, we often see that the light is a, uh, a metaphor often in the Bible for God's truth. And so God, his word, when we open it up, man, it does exactly what it's talking about. It shines this light on us that shows even our hidden motives, the things that we didn't even know ourselves. And it's amazing how often we do things, but we do them for mixed motives. I mean, some of our motives are good and pure. And, you know, so I want to help this person. I, I want to do right by this person. I want to do the right thing, whatever it is. And we, we do it for that. But we also have some selfish motives often mixed in with that. And maybe it's, I want to do the right thing. Be, but I also want to be respected because I do the right thing. I want, I want people to look at me and admire me because I'm a person who does the right thing. And, um, or, or maybe, you know, I'm going to get rewarded because I do this. I, I'm going to get something out of it. But whatever it is, we do these things and we do it for mixed motives often. And, um, man, we, we're just robbing ourselves of, of some of God's blessings when we do it that way. And it's a, it's a lifelong pursuit to get to where we have pure motives for doing things. And I, I don't know that I'll ever get there. But the point is that that's, that's what we pursue. And the way we do that is this. We got to dig into the Bible. We got to know what it is he has to say, what he has for us. You know, when you break open your Bible, before you start reading, I really want to encourage you, take a moment and just pray, God, please show me your truth. What is it you have for me? What do you want me to learn and change and grow from this time I'm spending with you today? And that should be what we do anytime we do study the Bible. And so just, it's this idea, you know, that we keep coming back and we say that, God, I want your light to penetrate my human spirit, and I want you to expose every hidden motive. Because we don't know ourselves completely. Only God knows us completely. We learn more about ourselves all the time, and, and sometimes we don't like what we see. A lot of times we don't like what we see, but we grow from it. And that's what, again, digging into the Bible does is it shows us who we are. And God is so gracious that way. He's so faithful. And despite knowing exactly who we are better than we know ourselves, he still sticks with us. He still wants us to grow and become more like Jesus. And so that's what he's trying to do here. So I just want to encourage you. Whether you're taking time to be in the Bible or whether you're just doing it through your prayer life as you're going about your day, just ask God, show your light on my soul. Help me to, to see what it is that's hidden in me that I need to get rid of. And uh, God's faithful. He, he will answer prayers like that. He will listen to us and he will show us what it is that we need to fix. And then we just need to have the courage to act on it. Well, that's what I had for you today this time, guys. And I hope that this wisdom uh, helps you and uh, helps me as well. And we'll both be better for it. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.